Hello, I'm still in quarantine, but welcome from and to Peston. Coming up, we've seen lots of one Deputy Chief Medical Officer. Tonight we'll speak to the other one, Professor Jonathan Van Tam. Jonathan, if you just stay there, I'd like to bring Robert in because he's been listening to what you've said. And Robert, do you have some thoughts that you'd like to add? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I was very struck that, uh, Jonathan, you said that social distancing, you felt, was more important than testing. But the government has spent millions of pounds, actually, on testing kits which are arriving, a million of them, from China in the next few days. They were used to stem the Wuhan crisis. Um, but they can't be deployed to hospitals. I mean, they are approved by the EU for use mm. by mm. medical professionals, but they can't be deployed to hospitals until Public Health England gives its approval. And the point about these tests is they don't just tell you whether you've got the kind of antibodies which give you immunity, but in theory, they will also be able to speed up the testing very considerably of people who've actually got the virus. Do you have any sense of why Public Health England hasn't yet completed the process of verifying whether these tests are useful or whether the government has just wasted millions of pounds? Well, I want to check that we're talking about the same tests here. Um, I think you're referring to antibody tests. Um, that, uh, they are indeed antibody tests, but, right. but, but these are antibody right. tests which, uh, it, which, in theory, as I understand it, not only test whether you've had the virus, but they do actually give you an indication whether you've got the virus at a particular time. They test for uh, two kinds of antibody. I'm afraid, sir, you are very wrong on that. You're referring to these antibody okay. tests as ones which measure IgM and IgG. I'm sure that's what you're referring to. That's it. And, yep. and those are two totally. different sorts of antibody. They are not antigen. Yep. So if you have COVID-19 sure. and you have the symptoms and I take a swab from you and I try and apply an antibody test, it will be negative because you this have the virus. Test. This is a blood you, test. Yeah, you're, you're referring to the blood tests and the blood tests yeah. test whether you have had it. They cannot ascertain whether you have it at the moment. That is completely incorrect. So, so why, did the Chinese, why, did the, why did the Chinese believe that it gave them an indication if somebody had it? Why did they believe that the antibody actually built up enough to give a reliable test? Um, we are still studying this organism. It's very new. It's four months old. The patterns of antibody emergence in humans are not yet fully worked out. As a general rule, IgM will appear quicker than IgG. But for most infectious diseases that I've ever studied or dealt with, the typical time interval before an antibody test can be reliable and for, for us to conclude that you have had it is 28 days. So there's an enormous danger in what you say. And um, it just isn't true that you can detect virus with these tests. You can detect antibodies. But presumably you would agree so very briefly that, that it would be the, useful to know if, if we have if had it, though, if the antibodies are finish, there. Please, if I can finish. So the notion yeah. that you could use these tests to test healthcare workers who are symptomatic at home, having isolated, is completely false. OK. Jonathan, Great. thank you very much. Thank you.